Medical Watch, transforming pain with pictures. Medical reporter Dana Bear here with this success story. When a teen received a handmade card after surgery, the simple gesture not only helped ease her pain, 10 years later it helped her launch a national movement, all while she endured dozens of operations and spent years in and out of the hospital. In a digital world, this is a story about the power of personalization. Hi, my name's Jen. It seems like a simple thing to receive a card, but it really is so impactful. Can I give you this one too? Yeah, it's not pretty. Jen Rabino knows exactly how it feels. She was once the patient in the hospital bed. We first met her in 2012. At the time, I had just had major surgery here at Lurie, um, had hip reconstructive surgery, and I had received a card when I was in the hospital, and it really meant a lot to me. And so at the time, I was just wanting to be able to help others in the same way. 10 years and 500,000 handmade cards later. This one's like a spaceship. Isn't that cool? Mm. Yeah, can I give them to you? You awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. The now 27 year old is still at it, crafting a little encouragement through her Cards for Hospitalized Kids organization. Over the years, thousands of volunteers have joined the effort. It really means a lot to people to know that someone took the time to be able to sit down and make something physical for them, to be able to brighten their day. And a lot of times people have asked me about making digital cards, but maintaining that handmade aspect is so important to me because I know that's a big part of why it impacted me and also why it impacts so many kids across the country. I used to be a patient here. Can I give you some cards? Yes, thank you. And it's particularly impactful for the kids that are going through like longer term treatment or having multiple hospitalizations and will receive multiple cards from us. And it's just been amazing to see how much it brightens their day and really just, you know, brings them strength and smiles during this difficult time. For the Park Ridge native and former gymnast. This uh, is Allie Raisman. Allie, She's I love her. Oh, you know her? Yeah. Awesome. The organization reached new heights when a few superstars stars help promote the cause. A lot of it took off through social media. It meant a lot to me personally and it was also just so impactful. Hi everyone, I'm Nasty Lukin. I'm so excited to be part of Cards for Hospitalized Kids. It's really a huge part of why Cards for Kids was able to grow so fast. Now a college student, Jen balances her studies with running her nonprofit. She has no plans to slow production. I've been able to see the same response sort of what I had, you know, on so many kids and their families over and over again. Thank All right, you well so here much. you go. Yeah, of course. Thank you for letting me stop by. I would like to be able to keep it going and you know, we've had such great support that I think that that'll be possible. Cool. If you'd like to volunteer for cards for hospitalized kids or earn service hours, we have a link on our website. Back to you.